Kia ora koutou. it's great to be back in Te Whanganui Aotearoa, Wellington to carry on with the climate change field trip which was disrupted earlier on this year due to COVID-19. We've got some really cool activities in store over the next couple of days. We're going to catch up with Gordon Brailsford from Niwa and check out more of his gases. Then we're going to head up the coast to Porirua and meet Glen Rowe from Land Information New Zealand to talk about tides and tide gauges and we're going to finish our two days back here in Wellington by meeting two students involved with School Strike for Climate. So I'm really excited about meeting them. It's going to be an awesome finish to the field trip. We'll catch you soon. Sorka and Aurelie are secondary school students involved in the School Strike for Climate movement. This is an organisation united by their concern about the planet and who want our politicians to take the future seriously and to treat climate change for what it is, a crisis. Maybe you took part in one of these strikes yourself. Let's hear more from these two dedicated students. You travelled up the coast and you're in the Otahanga domain, just, just out of Paraparumu, and this is the uh, Waikanae River, and we're here with School Strike for Climate members, I suppose you could say. We've got Aurelie and Sorka. Hey, it's great that you can join us this afternoon, girls. It oh, is. Yeah, thank Pleased you for be inviting us. Oh, this is great. So, um, School Strike for Climate's been a, a massive event um, mm -hmm. right throughout you know, the media and people, parents getting really angry that kids are taking days off school <laughs> and this sort of thing. But um, it sounds like a really positive group to be involved in. What, what's inspired you to get involved and actually do something like this and be, be part of this organisation? Hearing about climate change from a young age and then like just understanding it or like even not just seeing it and even whenever like you know hearing about floods or like terrible weather events would always like wake me up and I suppose that just just knowing that like our environment was precious and it wasn't it wasn't really surviving and it was being destroyed and I think that's kind of panic in a way because it was kind of I was a bit scared and I think that motivated me most. I grew up around um, this beautiful environment like I came to this park so much when I was a kid and being around the ocean and I think uh, seeing the damage that we growing up um, like I as an individual have caused has really made me feel kind of um, like I like I had to do something like there was no choice uh, sure I'm a teenager but I think we're in the prime position to make that change and where people will listen to us. Is it cool to be involved in the environment and, and caring about the environment? Well, it's definitely not uncool. Like, I think it's something that everyone wants to do but uh, has never really found the strength or understood how they can help. And I think, for me personally, um, the small decisions I make when my friends see that I'm buying a vegetarian or a vegan pizza instead of meat lovers, they kind of, they begin to question why and then they, um, they really, they aspire to kind of do their thing as well. When you say the strength, what, what is it that you have to be strong about? I think it's just so easy to like continue in your ways and follow your parents and follow, follow what people around you are doing. But um, Keep driving to the supermarket when it's only a kilometre down yeah, the road. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's but hard like, to break habits. Yeah, is. exactly. And I think, yeah. yeah, you have to have the strength to like, to go against the norm as well. Mm. Or to like, to be bothered. Because at the beginning, like, you know, these things, like, you have to be bothered. And I think it's easy to make small changes around what you buy. Like, just to mm. rethink, you know, when you go to the supermarket, just to rethink about how you're going to take stuff. You know, do you want to bring your own containers, your own bags? I mean, now everyone takes their own bags. Yeah. Which was such an easy change once you got into the habit of it. Yeah. Mm. Looking sort of further down the track, where are you taking this? Yeah, so I was actually challenged personally a lot. Like I, I kind of was looking at different career paths and I feel like at school I was often kind of um, pushed into the direction of like you're into the environment, study marine biology or something. Mm. But I realised um, lately that what I wanted to do is care for the environment and it's not just an extracurricular but it is really my life, my biggest passion. Mm. So mm. next year I am going to do an internship cool. with an environment mm. organisation. I think so many career career paths from now on can just revolve around climate like naturally. Like I've talked to people and like, I'm going to be an engineer. Why? So that we can design sustainable buildings. Yeah, that relates to it. Yeah. Or a politician is like relating to it. Yeah. That term sustainability, keeping on going, is yeah, something yeah. that we, we will want it. Yeah. Hmm. And you can relate it to everything. Because yeah. like a use, I suppose, like in 
you know, traditionally or in a lot of indigenous cultures, you can see how it's quite core to a lot of beliefs. And I think that's like natural for humans to have it as a core belief that decides all, all decisions. Just, I won't keep you much longer. It's been really neat just chatting with you guys and the ducks that are getting, <laughs> getting chased by a dog down the Waikanae River there. Um, I guess I could just, you know, cheesily say keep up the good work. <laughs> but um, but seriously, um, it's been in the short time I've spoken with you guys this afternoon. It's been really inspiring, and um, I like to think that my own kids will get involved <laughs> in something like this and make and do something, have the strength and the courage of their convictions to actually take that little step further, and not just think about it, but um, but mm. do something positive. I think you guys are doing a great job. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.